My name is Alana and I'm going to share with you the findings of the study Nutritional and Environmental Characteristics of Plant-Based School Menus, analysis of an initiative to promote human and planetary health in Bahia, Brazil. So, some background information. In 2018, the Public Ministry of Bahia implemented the Sustainable School Program, whose main objective is to improve school meals quality, uh, promote health and prevent disease, rationalize environmental and financial resources, and straighten the family agriculture. In 2019, uh, low-carbon meals were implemented twice a week in more than 150 schools of four municipalities, reaching out more than 32,000 students. Our aim was to evaluate the environmental impact and the nutritional viability of these menus for this population. So for the methodology, the 15 most repeated meals from the conventional and sustainable menus were selected for analysis according to the school age group and the number of meals the students receive per day. So the, the groups were uh, number one, nursery and preschool, and the second, primary, secondary, and young adults. Uh, validated food composition tables were used to calculate nutritional information. Uh, national school feeding program requirements were used to assess nutritional adequacy, and greenhouse gas emissions were estimated using Joseph and Poor and Garzillo databases. Our findings shows that the sustainable menus provided similar or even greater amounts of calories and proteins in protein, less saturated fat, sugar and sodium, and more fiber besides being cholesterol free. It also provided higher content of magnesium, vitamin A and C, similar uh, or higher iron content and lower calcium and zinc amount. Both menus were inefficient in reaching micronutrient recommendations established by, by legislation, mainly for primary, secondary and young, young adult students. There was a reduction of 15% in greenhouse gas emissions of nursery and preschool menus and 17 for primary, secondary and young adult menus. Expanding the offer of sustainable menus four times a week would represent a reduction in greenhouse gas emissions of 40 to 45 percent respectively for each group. So considering the greater energy efficiency and less environmental impact of plant-based diets, the nutritional adequacy of these sustainable menus has a substantial potential to mitigate the global syndemic of obesity, malnutrition and climate change. Thank you for the opportunity and I'm happy to answer questions about our study. Obrigada.